Well, you heard this song last week, and so we want to encourage you to give it a try and sing along with us. This is What a Friend. joining us here in the Sunrise Church parking lot or via Facebook Live all over the world. We remain connected through our love of Christ wherever we are. You can join us today for drive through communion with Pastor Matt and Pastor Olin from 12 to 1 or right after worship today. Right now, let's join our voices as we sing together. Hey! 
Invite this giant unicorn to come up and share a message with us. Good morning, friends. I'm your favorite. Here, I don't have a horn, so I'll throw sprinkles back out at you. I'm your sunrise unicorn here today to give you a message about love and spreading God's word. Since we're kind of in an era where we're not really allowed to hug, and I love to hug, I asked if it would be okay if I spread glitter of love today. Because glitter is kind of one of those things that like sticks for a while and you find little glitter pieces all over the place. And so I thought, if I spread glitter, just like I would spread love if I could give hugs, and God's word, you guys will find glitter forever. And hopefully every time you see glitter, you'll think, I need to spread love. I need to spread kindness, just like the Lord would want me to. So today, that's why I'm spreading my rainbow glitter, since I am the rainbow unicorn. And I want you to always remember, wherever you go, spread your glitter, spread your love, spread your kindness, and make a difference. I'll miss you guys. I can't get down. <laughs> Stephanie, you got to stay right where you are. Uh oh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, spreading love, uh, Stephanie's been spreading love here at Sunrise as our children's director, and you've done a lot of good. Thank you. <laughs> and you've given a lot of love. And wherever you go, and whoever you encounter, may God have mercy on their soul. <laughs> true, it's true. Because they're going to encounter love and they're going to feel the joy of Christ in their life because you are that radiant beam. You've blessed us. You've been blessed to be a blessing. Go forth. And may you and your whole family and uh, coach uh, have a new adventure in Ohio. Uh, we will miss you and we'll think of you all the time with or without glitter <laughs> as you spread love among us. We want to pray for you. Mm -hmm. Kids, everybody everywhere, join us. Lord, we thank you for Stephanie. She's a hoodlum and she's <laughs> our hoodlum. Mm -hmm. And we love her dearly. We know that she, everywhere she goes, your love is spread. It'll be spread all across Ohio, in the classroom, amongst her family, and everywhere. We thank you for that gift. That's really what a missionary is, goes around spreading the love of Christ. And we thank you for her missionary work. We send her, we commission her, knowing we're going to miss her. We love her dearly. She's incredible and she's touched our lives. Lord, you have worked through this mighty small vessel to transform lives, to bring healing, to bring hope, to bring a listening ear and to bring a whole lot of hugs. We love you, Lord. We praise you for Stephanie. We pray for her and her family as they travel. We pray for them in their new place and their new house, and we pray over that. We thank you, and we praise you. And all God's people said, amen. Amen, amen. Sunrise parking lot, flash your lights <laughs> for Stephanie. Those on Facebook, please comment and say thank you to Stephanie for her ministry here <laughs> with us. But let us continue in worship at this time as we sing together. Seek ye first.
special prayer this morning sent in by Kathy Polizzi. If you guys would join me and Kathy in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning as one church, praying for unity in the body of Christ. We know when two or more are gathered in your name, you are among us. We thank you for being our healer, our tower of strength, our voice of reason, our deliverer of peace, and our Savior, the great I Am. We pray, Holy Spirit, give us guidance in these uncertain times and show us how to remain together in unity, strong in our belief in the power of Christ. In Ephesians, you tell us to make every effort to keep ourselves united in the Spirit, binding ourselves together with peace. We know your perfect love will remove any fear or obstacle we have and give us exactly what we need to be your light and lead others to be united with us in Christ. Father, for some of us, these are trying times. We worry about what the future holds for ourselves and the ones we love. We pray to always come to you first, choosing faith over fear. Remind us also to put others first, to seek their needs before our own, to be still in your presence so we hear your call and watch you work through us, serving others. To turn to your Son, to show us how to love as he did. And Father, we pray for Holy Spirit discernment, so our eyes see not our differences in each other, but the content of our character, to remain together in unity. We pray in those times we, you will give us your joy, your grace, and your peace to carry us through. Father, bestow your wisdom on our leaders in our nation and in our church. We pray they will always know their strength and influence comes from you. We pray that you will bring people into their lives who can support and encourage them, keeping them humble, patient, and loving in their actions and in their words to all those they lead. Heavenly Father, today we pray and thank you for all the amazing fathers who lead their families with strong faith and unconditional love, just as you have shown love for them. We thank you for our fathers that have come to join you in heaven. May we cherish all our memories of them and know one day we will be together. Now as one church united together in Christ, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. One of the ways we remain connected is through our offering. Our ushers are walking through the parking lot now to collect your gifts, but you can also text a gift to 719-270-4478, drop off a gift at drive through Communion today at noon, or mail in a gift to Sunrise UMC. Again, that text to give number is 719-270-4478. Thank you. There's revival and it's spreading like a wildfire in my heart. Sunday morning, hallelujah, and it's lasting all week long. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? It's the rhythm of a gospel song. Oh, once you choose it.
singing in my soul, I've got a sweet salvation, and it's beautiful. I've got an old church choir singing in my soul, I've got a sweet salvation, and it's beautiful. I've got a heart overflowing, cause I've been restored. There ain't nothing gonna steal my joy, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. Amen. 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 Good morning, Sunrise. Uh -huh. Happy Father's Day. You know, there's nothing going to steal our joy, and we can't wait to have that old church choir singing again. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's going to be a while, but uh, we're all singing in our hearts, and we got that old church choir singing with us. Uh -huh. We are blessed to be here today. Happy Father's Day. A glorious day to be out here. I have two things I wanted to share. One is that uh, Pastor Matt and I uh, and some others attended annual conference, the uh, Mountain Sky Conference of the United Methodist Church, the states of Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and Montana, and two churches in Idaho. Uh, the bishop, Karen Olivetto read the appointments last evening, and Pastor Matt and I are reappointed to Sunrise Church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we're delighted to serve God here at Sunrise and in the Colorado Springs community. We're, we're all blessed by this. So we're looking forward to this next appointment year and the ways in which our Lord God has many surprises for us. God help us as we continue. Mm -hmm. We won't be doing it with our 10-foot unicorn, however. Uh, we'll miss you, Stephanie. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. One more thing I wanted to share is that uh, Pastor Matt is concluding a pastor's class. Uh, he studied the Gospel of Mark and Ephesians with many of you uh, through online Zoom class. Uh, the next pastor's class, I'll be facilitating a book conversation, and that class will start on July the 7th. Invite people to contact me at my email address, O-L-O-N at sunriseumc.com. Uh, reserve your space in the class for Zoom. Uh, we'll be studying the book, Waking Up White and Finding Myself in the Story of Race. How it is that we white folks uh, continue to contribute to the problems of racism. Let's awaken our souls and spirits and learn how that uh, there can be solutions because of our God's gospel of truth and hope in our world. Let it be so. <clears throat> going to read the scripture now, but before we do that, let's pray. O Lord our God, open our hearts and open our minds by the power of your Holy Spirit that as scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, we can hear with joy what it is you have to say to us today. Amen. Amen. First reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 11, verse 5 and following. And Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will give up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who has asked receives 
and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If I tell you then who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 11, verse 24, Jesus said, So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So Jesus is approached by the disciples, and they say, Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. Jesus responds and begins to teach the Lord's Prayer. We hear the echo of the disciples' question, Lord, teach us to pray. And we're asking that we can be taught to pray in these days. We're continuing with an acronym for the word prayer. We have explored God's presence, presence in our world, relationship, the relationship that we have with God and others. We today are looking at the word ask. P-R-A. Today is all about ask. We hunger as we ask our Lord to transform our world and to consume our hearts that often contribute to racism in personal and systemic ways. We pray and seek to ask our Lord for help in COVID-19. We trust you, Lord, and ask for you in our daily life. We cry out to you, Lord, and ask for comfort in our grief. Oh, Lord, we love you and ask your blessing when we are broken. Let's remember always that prayer is not for show. Prayer is the authentic expression of our needs our hopes for life, the authentic expression of hope for this world, hope for our loved ones, and hope for our honest desires before God. Sometimes we confuse our God with Santa Claus. Sometimes we confuse our God with a giant vending machine in the sky. And we approach our God as though if God is appropriate listening, God will know that we have inserted the right coin into the vending machine. We have behaved appropriately. We have done the right things. We've said the right words. We have done everything in our ability to manipulate our God to give us what we want. However, that's not what our Lord is about. As we pray and ask our God for the meeting of our needs and our hopes, our wonders, the things we ask for. Do you ever remember hearing the expression, Lord answers every prayer. Our Lord answers every prayer. But we need to pay attention to the answer. The answer to our prayer is sometimes yes, And sometimes no. The answer to our prayer is sometimes yes. And the answer to our prayer is sometimes no, not now. Our Lord answers our prayers. Some years ago, I was (coughs) offering a a series of messages on prayer and I said that you know when we ask for God for anything our God will deliver and on that particular Sunday morning I I shared with folks I'm praying for a Honda Goldwing motorcycle and Lord after this Sunday morning is over and these three worship services 
Lord God, I'm praying that you will deliver into my driveway at my home a Honda Goldwing motorcycle. No pressure, Lord. It's what I'm asking. And what I ask, I know I'll receive. Well, sure enough, I drove home after services that day. And in my driveway, on a stool, was a Goldwing motorcycle. Now, <laughs> I know you can't see this, but this is a box that fits in the palm of my hand. And inside this box is a scale model of a Goldwing motorcycle. The scale 1 to 18. And I reminded myself in that moment <coughs> that when I pray to the Lord for a Goldwing motorcycle, I need to say a real one. I need to say, how about the right scale for my body rather than this model of a Goldwing motorcycle. Friends, I hope you hear the playfulness. I hope you hear the power of one of those uh, church members that was in church that day that got creative and uh, went out and did some shopping for a Goldwing motorcycle. I no longer pray for a Goldwing motorcycle. The Lord already answered my prayer. Uh -huh. Friends, the answer to our prayers, think about it. The answer comes yes, no, yes, and no, not now. We discover that we ask the Lord and we approach our Lord for many things. Think about it. What do you pray for? Stuff? The things of this world, often we are trapped in that way of praying. Sometimes we pray not for the stuff of this world, but we pray for hopes and dreams, for concepts, for the healing, for life, for health, for death for experiences that can be real. We pray for relationships and we pray for adventures and outcomes. We keep asking. Time and time we ask. Time and time we approach our Lord. Jesus said, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Friends, I learned a song a long time ago that was something like, Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given, and the love comes a-trickling down. So we often know that we are to ask our Lord honestly and with integrity, no games. Lord, here is the authenticity of my heart as I ask for your attention to the health and love of my family and more. We pray, God, for those who are in trouble, we pray for so many things and we ask you to be attentive. Be attentive, Lord. Lord, teach us to pray. We come into your presence. We honor our relationship with you. And we ask, fully knowing that you're listening and will answer our prayer. Today, we learn more about how to pray. It is to be honest when we ask. I pray we've heard the words of the Lord today. Amen and amen. Let's pray. Oh Lord of God, we ask this day that you'll instill in our hearts the, the freedom to be about prayer. To ask freely 
our heart's desires, our hopes, our expectations. We pray that you listen in the midst of your presence with us, that as we ask and as we are persistent, you will offer us our daily bread. You'll sustain us in our life and our health. You'll comfort us in our grief. You'll help us act to transform our world in the ways that bring your kingdom alive now. Lord God, humbly, we pray to you with authentic hearts on this Father's Day 2020. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, Sunrise. We've had a glorious day of worship. I pray for those who are at home that you'll feel God's presence there. We pray for those who've gathered in the parking lot. <clears throat> in these next few moments, if you'd like to receive communion here at the parking lot, uh, stay where you're at and we'll come to you. If uh, you're at home and in the Colorado Springs area and you'd like to receive communion, you can come by the church between noon and one. We'll be here to serve you in a drive through capacity for communion. If you're at home, uh, pray God's presence in your life and know the truth that that's real. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be among us and those we love always. Amen and amen.
sunrise.